The Thornercroft's giraffe is a subspecies of giraffe, lives only in the Luongo Valley. It does not live in zoos. It lives no place else. And there's only about 500 to 600 Thornercroft's giraffe. And I do have to repeat that, less than 600 giraffes. Now, what happens if the 600 disappear? Well, no more Thornercroft's giraffe. It's as simple as that. Recently, there has been an increase in reports for snared giraffes. In most cases, when you have the word poaching is just associated with using a gun, but people do not realize the impact of snares because other than those target species, we have other animals that get snared, that's what we call bycatch. It's usually like a wire noose, different gauges, different thickness, that's set up along a game trail of some sort, so where animals would usually pass, either towards water or towards a food source and the animal kind of you know, doesn't know it's there and walks through it, usually head first, and gets around the neck. But with giraffes, since they're so tall, typically it's kind of one of their legs that gets into the snare. Three are all confiscated wires from different places in the park. So if y'all hadn't been here, all of this would have been out there? Yes. It is estimated that only one in four snares are actually recovered. Last year, we had five snared giraffes. The team which is responsible for running, they have to get out of the vehicle and follow the giraffe. Then you rope it around so that it doesn't fall on its neck. Then people go ahead and cut the wire. We assess if the snare has caused cut wounds, and you have to clean the wound, you treat with antibiotic. And we are hated. People don't appreciate what we are doing. There are very few that appreciate what we are doing for Mother Nature. 